girls. So for this episode, I'm going to help you with a healthy breakfast. So pretty much what we're going to do, we're going to do a carb, the potatoes, and then we're going to do um, egg, which is protein. We're gonna do more so some egg whites and also put the yellow yolk, yolk in it. And then we're gonna do uh, more protein with the turkey bacon. So what you wanna start with first is the potatoes because that's gonna take the longest to do. I'm cooking for two, so I'm gonna do two potatoes, but if you're just cooking for yourself, just use one potato. So when you cut it, just slice it. How I'm doing the slicing, all right? And then you wanna just cut middle. You're just dicing them like cubes. My daddy taught me. I do my potatoes like my daddy. All right, so just cut it, slice them first. Obviously you need like a, a good knife. <laughs> and then cut it down the middle, and then cube it. Okay. So after you diced all your potatoes, you wanna get your olive oil, and then you're gonna put it in your pan. We're gonna use this one. Here. Turn it on. Make sure you turn on your oven. Make sure you light it up. And then just take your potatoes. Put them in there, put them in there. So you can have yummy potatoes. I dropped one, oh well. <clears throat> Usually it takes like, a, depends on how you like your potatoes. I like them soft, I don't really like them that crispy. So, um, gotta, get, gotta get my spoon. I don't like them crispy, I like them like soft and cooked. So it's probably, I usually leave it in for like 15, 20 minutes, but if you like it more crispy, you're probably gonna have to leave it in a little bit longer. I also love this seasoning. It's from my hometown. Susie Q's seasoning. Santa Maria Valley style, baby. See that? Oh yeah. That makes everything taste good. So I'm just gonna sprinkle like a little bit of it over the potatoes, or how us Mexicanas say it, papas. <laughs> and then you just want to take a, <laughs> you just want to take like a cover and you're going to cover the potatoes. So I'm going to get that and do that. <laughs> Found my cover. All right, so you just want to place it over the potatoes. Put the heat at like medium low. Unless you like it crispy and a little burnt, then you can do it at like medium high, but I don't like my potatoes like that. So, you wanna do the potatoes first because those ones take the longest and they're more so just sitting and cooking. And then you can move on to your eggs. So for the eggs, um, I'm gonna, I always usually put like vegetables in it and I'm gonna do onions and tomatoes. I'm just gonna scramble it in there. Onions, you gotta kinda saute them first before you put in your eggs. So I'm gonna do dab first. And then also, while we're doing that, I'm, probably, I'm just gonna put the turkey bacon on the stove because it does take a little bit more time to cook the turkey bacon. The eggs are probably your fastest after the veggies are kind of sauteed and to your liking. So with the onions, just cutting them standard, just cube, as you can see, just cube it. Like that. We're gonna do the same with the tomatoes. And like I said, I'm cooking for two people. If you're cooking for one, you pretty much can half everything that I'm doing. Unless you like are bulking up and you need like more protein and more food, then you could do this. So before I put the veggies in the pan, I'm gonna put my turkey bacon. This one, the Oscar Mayer turkey bacon, I got it at Costco. You can get two of these packets for, I think it's like six, seven dollars. I think that's the best deal because two of these packets will last you like two, two to three weeks. And if you're by yourself for sure, it may even go longer. These last me and my boyfriend um, at least two weeks. Cause the ones at like Trader Joe's that are like three or four bucks only come with like eight slices. And I always was going to the store, to Trader Joe's, to buy more and more and more. And then you end up spending like $10 or, you know, $10, $15 in one week just getting turkey bacon. So get that Costco card so you can get them deals. Just put it in the pan with the olive oil and then just let it 
like I said, if, it de depends on how you like your food. If you like it more crispy, then obviously you're going to leave it in more. If you, if you don't like it that crispy, I don't like it super crispy, so I don't leave it in that long. But I do, because my boyfriend likes it like kind of crispy, so I leave it in. It's like we compromise. So it's like a little bit crispy and a little bit not, if that makes any sense. Okay, just lay them in the pan. It's just like bacon, but it's turkey bacon. And then let those cook. So in order, the potatoes are gonna take the longest, then the turkey bacon, and the eggs are the fastest. Now we're going to do the eggs. Um, you're gonna take your pan, put olive oil in it, that good old olive oil. Mmm. Okay, then put your veggies in it. More so, I think the onions are gonna need sauteing, so just make sure you eye it so your tomatoes don't get burnt. You're gonna have to stir it a little bit more. Okay, and as you can see, the potatoes are cooking. Ooh, wow, look at that. And then you have your turkey bacon cooking. Now we got your veggies for your eggs is going to be cooking. I just turned it off because I don't want, because it, it's like very heated. I don't want the eggs to turn into sunny side up or over easy. The spider doesn't like over easy. And I'm doing a scramble right now. So just turn that off or they cook super fast when you... I'm going to do... This is going to be like a big breakfast. So I'm probably only going to do five eggs for the two of us. But I'm going to take out two of the yolks so then it's two egg whites within that. I just use my my spoon thingy here. Toss it in the sink. Bye bye. Get another yolk. Toss it in the sink. Bye bye. Okay, then I can turn it back on my... This is an old school oven, so you gotta light it. But ain't nothing wrong with that. It works just fine. I'm not too fancy for it. Okay. And then you do it like a scramble. Just scramble it up for your scrambled eggs with the vegetables. Look at how fluffy! <laughs> All right, like I said, the eggs is like probably the quickest out of the bacon and the potatoes. So just let it sit on the, obviously turn off the, the stove part for this one. And just let your eggs sit. Flip your turkey bacon if necessary. It is not necessary. But you want to see, you want to come over to your papa. Stir it up. I'm going to lower the flame even more. And I want to add more seasoning. Woo! -hoo. You can honestly use the seasoning. I use it on our fish. I use it on our chicken. And yeah, even on your potatoes. If you have a baked potato, it tastes really good. All right. So we'll be ready in a few. All right. So everything is done. Um, potatoes are good. Eggs are good. And bacon. Usually with the bacon, I don't like it that oily. So I just put it on a napkin to just let the oil sit. The crispy ones, that's for spider. <laughs> All right, so I'll just let it sit. Ouch. And I'll just dab it so the oil comes off. Just like this. Okay, we'll put that to the side. Right. Ta-da! Here's our two plates with our turkey bacon, eggs, and potatoes. Mmm. And if you're vegetarian, then you can just eliminate the turkey bacon because the eggs is protein too. And with mine, I like avocado, so I'm just gonna take some avocado, slice it, and then I'm just gonna lay it on the top of my eggs. And it's just a healthy fat for you right there. And it tastes very, very good. So I hope this helps you girly girls out there, or even dudes. This is not only for girls. Dudes, if you want a healthy breakfast, here you go. And don't forget to please subscribe to Girl Talk.